liked Indiana's Republican Attorney General Todd Rokita, told CBS News that his office is investigating whether Dr. Caitlin Bernard, a local OBGYN physician, followed state law, which requires her to report that she performed an abortion on a 10-year-old girl who was a victim of rape. The girl traveled from Ohio, where most abortions are illegal, once there is cardiac activity, usually at six weeks. Yesterday, Dr. Bernard tweeted, My heart breaks for all survivors of sexual assault and abuse. I am so sad that our country is failing them. Elizabeth Nash works for an abortion rights group. That the best thing for a sexual assault survivor who needs an abortion is not an abortion ban. Since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, Ohio is one of at least nine states which make no exceptions for rape or incest. In Indiana, abortions are still legal up to 22 weeks. How concerned are physicians now about potentially being in legal jeopardy? Well, they're incredibly concerned because more than anything, providers want to provide care. The girl's case sparked international attention after President Biden made reference to it as he signed an executive order to protect access to abortions. Ten years old, raped, six weeks pregnant, already traumatized, was forced to travel to another state. Yesterday, 27-year-old Gerson Fuentes was arraigned in Ohio for allegedly raping the girl. Tonight, the Indiana doctor's lawyer released a statement saying, quote, My client, Dr. Caitlin Bernard, took every appropriate and proper action in accordance with the law and both her medical and ethical training as a physician. She followed all relevant policies, procedures, and regulations in this case. The attorney says they are considering legal action to clear her name.